All right, march in here uh, like this. This is this is me. This is one feed. Let's see. Let's get some other feeds in here. March in here from the open source Panopticon. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I. Oh, whoops. Let me try that again. Ah, look at this beauty. So there's a couple of, let's see, there's an extra window of, where is my extra window? I can't find this extra window of Jitsi. This might be an artifact. Okay, people, let's take a look at what we have for the wall modules on the CD home. All right. Okay, here, oh, here we go, here we go. All modules of the CD home. So, so right now we're doing the unthinkable, which is a full digital model. That's me. Uh, full digital model of the CD home. So the CD home looks like this here. Uh, something. Let me let me show you another page. Uh, CD home two. So this is our open source product. Uh, nice renderings uh, straight from Brazil. Okay, the current problem statement is to, is on the, the whole part library of the CD Go Home, and I'll send the link, and here you see the, the, the part library. There's actually about 70 wall modules altogether that cons comprise the entire house from the outside walls, which is 48 panels, modules, and then about 30 or so um, 20 more like 20 so if I go to my log here uh, this is um, what what are the modules we're actually allocating the different roles in this design guide document and this is a, a breakup so this is the house um, basically the first floor um, 1 through 23 23 because of the double door Second floor is 24 through 47. And this is the interior walls, 48 through 59. And this is second floor interior walls, 60 through 69. So actually 69 total. So the actual files are here. So, so this is a part library. It's, it's a little thumbnail of what the thing is. Uh, we insert that into the, the document. Now you'll see two kinds of files. So say take wall module one. File SEH2, CD Home 2, Wall 1, SH3D. So that's the Sweet Home 3D file if you click on that. It takes you to the download of that. It's zipped. Now the second one is the FCSTD, the FreeCAD file, right after that. So that's the thing. Wherever we have a red, that means that FreeCAD file has not been generated. So the task right now is the number one task, most important, because the, the Sweet Home 3D is largely for conceptual and some CAD, but basically FreeCAD is much more powerful. So we're taking everything from Katarina's uh, Sweet Home 3D into FreeCAD for advanced analysis, including structural, thermal, bills of materials generation, everything else. Okay, so wherever you see a red, that means it doesn't exist. Um, so there's a bunch in red, like .fcstd, 10, 11, 12, 14. You just go through the list. Whatever's in red for the FreeCAD file, we need to generate. Now, you might be questioning, what about some modules that are actually identical? Because there are. Uh, all the modules are pretty much similar. They're basically the same, except for detail. Uh, there's corner modules. There's, uh, there's window modules, door modules. So, at the end of the day, it turns out that every single module just about will be slightly different because what if you have electrical and plumbing inside those which will be going into the full digital model. So, so if you think that you're doing redundant work because the file already exists, well, just put it over into the, the red placeholder that says it doesn't exist yet because we'll continue adding detail until those are um, maybe slightly different in various ways. because wall outlets, you know, say there's a, a heat pump unit attached to one thing or say an electrical panel attached somewhere. That would mean different holes. We're talking about absolutely um, people, we are actually talking, we are talking about the 
complete exhaustive detail for the digital model in order to enable all kinds of assets from analysis to even multiplayer online games everything else um, full digital model is required to take housing from inefficient to digital housing 2.0 uh, but that's the idea so if you don't see the the free cat file being there yet generated how do you know how to generate it well you can look at the the sweet home 3d file and that might get you somewhere and of uh, the updated files uh, you have to go to Katarina's source Google Drive here so uh, working there are working models but now since we got into the free CAD there might have been minor adjustments and changes like for example as we go every time we hit the CAD we end up making some improvements like for example um, this is a stairway great uh, how about we simplify that and this is the next iteration of the stairway down here uh, where Uh, special modules <clears throat> concept okay here's um, here's like select details but check this out that's what the stairway evolved to none of the lo long complex stringers but simplified design with 4 by 12, these will be actually 4 by 12, 2 by 12s are selected here, shown here. Um, much simpler design, right? So this is talking all about simplification at every step of the way because now the whole complicated stair is modularized into these simple units that can then uh, um, be uh, prepared. Like for example, the wall panel, wall module that's right there talking about the differences between the various panels. Now you might have these uh, supports pre-attached to that and that, that makes the difference in that module so that's why we're basically repeating each module and taking it to break the entire house model into discrete parts and that is the 69 module so that's, that's the last module 69 um, here's some select details all of these um, are downloadable um, but Basically, where you see all this red, all these are game that we that we got to generate them. Um, the idea here is also it's actually quite inspiring because once we generate them and we actually three D print various jigs or templates for building these modules, we are going to set a record of how quickly it can take. Uh, we were looking at fifty hours to do these, um, at one to two hours per module, like with a skilled person, a oh, person who's built one of these. So each one of these modules takes like an hour or two, two for if it's a window or a door. Uh, but now we're getting more ambitious after thinking about the templates and uh, workflow or simple details like how do you effectively screw things together in the most optimized way? Uh, devil's in the details. But now we're getting ambitious to say like, okay, what if we can get our people here to do all these 68 modules in say 10 people one or two days um, or much less than 50 hours anyway uh, getting to radical efficiencies that really determine whether it takes you forever to build a house or you can build it efficiently so you can actually solve real problems of housing so that's a short intro here I'll stop here <laughs>